Hey fellow problem solvers, Colfax Math here. Today I'm going to go over plan reading, specifically adding fractions and fractional plan reading. Pause the video and do one of these at a time. Find the length from B to C, from there to there. Unpause the video, watch how I do it, and then go down to the second problem, A to B, the distance from there to there. Before we get started, let me just review adding fractions. The key to adding fractions is a common denominator. So if you have one half plus one quarter, um, you have to have that bottom number, the denominator, the same. This is an expression. I can't do whatever I want to both sides of the equation because it's not an equation. I could only multiply by a factor of 1 so as not to change the value. To make this a 4, I have to multiply by a 2. That's going to change the value of it, so I multiply by 2 over 2. That's an equivalent of 1. doesn't change the value. Multiply across the top to get 2. 2 times 2 is 4. So this half becomes two-fourths. That quarter stays what it is, one-fourth. Now I have two-fourths plus one-fourths. My denominator is the same. I add across the top. Two plus one is three. And I keep that denominator three. All right, let's look at problem number one. Again, pause the video, figure out BC, then unpause. BC is the distance from here to here. I look at all my fractions. The largest denominator is 16. That one's already in 16, so I'll keep it the way it is. 1 and 5 sixteenths. That one is 16, so that's 7 sixteenths. This one right here is a 2, so i got to get it to a sixteenth. I'm going to take the fraction only and multiply it by 8 over 8 because I want that bottom number of sixteenths. I'm multiplying by 1, doesn't affect the value. 1 times 8 is 8. 2 times 8 is 16. I didn't do anything to that 1, it stays out front, so I have that 1 in the front. So I have 1 and 5 sixteenths, so I'm going to add these three numbers together. They all have a common denominator. 5 and 7 is 12. 12 and 8 is 20, so that gives me 20 sixteenths. I have that 1 and that 1, which is 2, so I have 2 and 20 sixteenths. That doesn't really make sense when the numerator's larger than the denominator, so I've got to turn that into a mixed number. 16 goes into 20 one time, so I take that 1, and I add it to that 2 to get 3. Once 16 goes into that 20 to give me 1, there's 4 left over. So I have 3 and that 4 left over over 16. I can reduce that fraction because 4 goes into 4 one time. 4 goes into 16 four times. So this is equivalent of 3 and 1 fourth. So the answer to BC, the length of BC, is 3 and 1 quarter. I'll write it down up there. And I'll also write it over here. 3 and 1 quarter. All right, pause the video and find AB, then I'll do it. Okay, AB is 5 eighths in 1930 seconds. I have a 1 in the front. Common denominator is going to be 32. I'm going to multiply that 5 eighths by something to get to a 32. Well, 8 times 4 is 32. I can't multiply by 4, it'll change the value, so I have to multiply by 4 over 4. So that first fraction, 5 eighths, is the equivalent of 20 over 32. My second fraction is 1 and 19 over 32. Common denominator, I could add across the top, 20 and 19 is 39 over 32. I have that one out front. 32 goes into 39 one time, so that's going to give me a 2. 1 and 1 gives me a 2. Once 32 goes in there, there's 7 left over to give me 7 30 seconds. It can't be reduced. So the distance AB is 2 and 7 30 seconds. We'll write it there, and we'll write it there too. You might need them later on as well. Find the length of E. E is right here. So I got to figure out this length right here. Well, I have a radius of 5 sixteenths, so this is 5 sixteenths. This is 5 sixteenths, same circle. Uh, it's only labeled once, implying it's symmetrical. 5 sixteenths plus 5 sixteenths. They already have that common denominator in them. Then I need this little line. These extension lines go up here. So this right here is 7 sixteenths. So I have 5 sixteenths plus 5 sixteenths plus 7 sixteenths. Common denominator. So I add across the top 5 plus 5, 10. Plus 7 is 17 over 16. Convert that into a mixed number, 16 into 17 one time with one left over. So that distance, E, is 1 and 1 16 All right, find distance AC. A 
to C is going to be this distance, 2 and 7 30 seconds, plus this distance, 3 and a quarter. Common denominator is going to be 32. So I have that 2 and 7 30 seconds. And then I got to get this to a 32. So I got to take that fraction only and multiply it by 8 over 8. That'll give me that 32 in the bottom. I can't just multiply by 8, it'll change the value, so I have to multiply by 8 over 8. So I have that 3, 1 times 8 is 8, over that common denominator 32. Now I add my fractions, 7 and 8 is 15, over the common denominator 32. 2 and 3 is 5, so the distance from A to C is 5, and 15, 30 seconds. Okay, now find the total length. I clean the board up a little bit here. That 5 and 15, 30 seconds was from A to C, my previous answer. So I got to find the distance to here. So I got to take that 5 and 15, 30 seconds. I need to add that distance to it. Well, this is saying a radius 1 and 1 8. So that would be 1 and 1 8. If it went up, it would be 1 and 1 8. Or if it went right here, it would be 1 and 1 8. Right? So this is 1 and 1 8 parallel lines that's moved up. So I have to take that 5 and 15, 30 seconds, add it to 1 and an eighth. My fraction denominator is going to be 32. I'm going to multiply that by 4 over 4. So I have that black number there, 5 and 15, 30 seconds, plus this orange number here, 1 and 4, 30 seconds. Have that common denominator, add my numerators, 15 and 4 is 19. Over that common denominator, 32. 5 plus 1 is 6. So the overall total length is 6 and 19 30 seconds. Find the overall width and then find the length of f. Okay, so the overall width is going to be from here to here. So I have all these fractions added together. I don't know if there's any way to combine some of them. I do have 5 eighths and 5 eighths. And I'm looking at all these, and the denominator that's the largest is 16. So I'm actually just going to add these two together to get 5 plus 5 over that common denominator, which is going to be 10 eighths. And then I got to double it to get to the 16. So I have 20 sixteenths, right? 5 eighths plus 5 eighths is 10 eighths. And then I need a common denominator over that 10 eighths. So I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by 2 over 2 to get 20 sixteenths. Then here I have 7 sixteenths plus 15 sixteenths. They have that common denominator. I'm going to add across the top to get 22 sixteenths. So I'm keeping my... And then this is the last one I have right here. I need to make it a sixteenth. How do I get 2 to a sixteenth? I multiply by 8. Can't multiply by 8, so i got to multiply by 8 over 8. So I multiply by 8 over 8 to get 8 sixteenths, or the equivalent of 1 half. I have all my common denominators. I add across.